This is going back a few years now, but it ended up being one of our most memorable experiences traveling through Bosnia. But let's back up a bit. In 1984, the Winter Olympics were held in Sarajevo, which was at that time part of Yugoslavia. This is Mount Trebevic, which overlooks Sarajevo with such a paternal vigilance. And he will definitely be competing for a gold. Look at the sled time on the left. That's Gerard Cristo of France's time. 400 better than Lehman. Boy, and it's hard to figure out where he made up that 400. But less than 10 years after these games, violence and chaos came to the region during the breakup of Yugoslavia. Walking around Sarajevo 20 years after the war, there are still signs everywhere of a city that was absolutely destroyed during the longest siege in modern warfare. Right on the pavement here, you can see where a bomb exploded and the, the shrapnel went out everywhere. It's been 20 years since the war, but there's still these reminders of buildings that were destroyed, like this hotel, that you never forget. Remember that bobsledding from 1984 in the Olympics before the war? We headed up into the hills above Sarajevo to check it out. We are way above the town of Sarajevo in the hills. Come to find something special today. We are at the ruins of the 1984 Sarajevo Winter Games. And this is the bobsled luge course. Over there is the bleachers right there. Here's a part where the road goes right under it. One amazing part of it is this is just in the middle of the forest, so it's such a nice setting. This section is really disturbing. It looks like People have cut holes to make sniper positions because the road goes right past there. This is definitely the section of the course that is the most colorful. There's the finish line. Walking down to the city. Hiking from central Sarajevo to the bobsledding course and back is definitely off the beaten track and makes for a great adventure.